Hello everyone. Right, today, inside look onto the Steam OS. This will be my first time I've installed the OS, even used it, or come anywhere near to it. All I know is I finally have the right image for it, and I can run it inside the virtual machine. So we'll be going through the install, usage, and seeing what Steam OS is actually capable of. Right, let's get started. And the music down a little bit there. You know, actually, it's fine at that level. Right, so, what we're going to do to begin with, I'm going to find virtual box. There we are. And let me just move, change screens. Got screens everywhere. Sorry if this looks a little bit derpy. So we're going to add the Steam OS in here, so it is not OS X, it is a Linux and it is a Damium Exploratory 64-bit. I'm just going to add roughly 4 gig RAM, create a virtual disk, 8 gig should be more than sufficient for the moment. Mount the uh, ISO. There we go. Make sure it doesn't come out of there. Right. So straight away, we got automated install, will erase disk, expert install, and rescue mode. I'm just going to go ahead and do a automatic install since I've got nothing on this uh, drive that I want or need. The, uh, sorry, just bear with me one moment. I overlays a little bit out. Uh, the overlay is not out, just chinas. There we go. Right. So let's just do an automated install. Let's see how we get on. On the time scale wise, I have absolutely no idea how long this is going to take. I sent, I've not installed it, I just know that this OS image boots. This is just an inside look on how to install Steam OS inside a virtual machine. I'll post a link to where I got the Steam image from and virtualization software you can use. However, I have been told that the Steam OS itself, its um, functions don't work particularly well when um, trying to use the big picture and stuff like that. Just because um, running through a virtual machine, you don't have very much dedicated um, graphics systems as you would on having it installed on a host machine. Not going to be an issue for this demonstration. Like I said, we're just going to install it, have a look at its core Linux. Debian package and see what we've been allowed essentially to do. 
and how well Steam itself runs on it, and compatibility for other applications, not including the Steam Orient. So we're talking web-based applications, office suites and stuff like that, which would essentially mean you can turn your Steam machine or whatever various Steam system you have into an actual fully functional OS, not just a gaming rig. What I have been told is advised um, to have a Intel based processor and a Nvidia based graphics system. AMD does now have, however, have support for it. Um, it is above the 8K series though. Uh, I don't know the specific details. I might be able to pull something up whilst we're waiting for this to install. Just bring up the specifications, recommended details, things like that. So just bear me whilst I try and find the uh, correct information. Okay, so SteamOS hardware requirements. Uh, what it's so yeah, what they are saying it is an Intel or AMD 64-bit capable processor. However, as stated before, AMD has only just received support for SteamOS um, natively, so might be worth sticking to Intel at least until the uh, it's actually in release at the moment. It's still in beta. It's recommended 4 gigabytes or more of RAM, a 500 gigabyte or larger hard disk, a NVIDIA graphics card or an AMD graphics card Radeon 8500 and later. So again, the Radeon AMD cards have only recently received support, so it's probably worth sticking to the NVIDIA cards um, until full release. Uh, UEFI boot support and a USB port for installation as the disk image comes at USB bootable prepared. Right. As for dual boot support, I'm not 100% sure what the capability is at the moment. There's a big warning on their website which says, warning both installation methods will erase all content on the target computer. Um, and that's via the default and custom installation. I'll look further into this. Um, and see if this is a dual bootable thing as I am looking at running Steam OS and I would not want to replace my uh, Windows 7 based OS with it. Of course, an internet connection and various other, you know, the standard things are required. Just reading a little further in, the SteamOS does seem to have support for Wi-Fi based internet access. So you're not limited to developing a Steam box on a desktop which has to be plugged in. You can create a Steam box uh, using a laptop, which is kind of cool. Might be worth knowing in that uh, SteamOS also has its own uh, backup system built in as well. And system restore um, is done via the boot image. Right.
Okay, so I'm just going to read a little bit of the blurb. As we're still waiting for the Steam OS to install, I'm just going to read a little bit of um, information built on your own Steam machine. So the Steam OS beta is the first public release of the Steam Linux-based operating system. The base system draws from Debian 7, code name was Debian Wheezy. Our work built on top of the solid Debian core and optimized it for a living room experience. Most of all, it's an open Linux platform that leaves you in full control. You can take charge of your system and install new software or content that you want, which would suggest to me that it's, it's packed with the standard uh, Linux based distros. Um, hopefully, some form of um, software center so we can go ahead and install packages with ease without having to use the console. Which would be kind of cool. It is worth noting that as well that the uh, Steam OS is free. Same as any other Linux distro, it is free, always will be free, and is open source. So you know there's nothing hidden in there that, uh, something nasty you don't really want. Might be worth noting um, that uh, in comparison from Windows to Linux, the UI from what I've heard is pretty vanilla, pretty straightforward, quite basic. But um, the the biggest reason I would suggest moving over to Linux is it's not virus proof. Nothing is virus proof. We've heard this time and time again. You will not get a virus on this. You will not get a virus on that. We know that it's not true. What is worth noting is on Windows alone in this last year, uh, there have been several thousands. I mean. We're talking almost an uncountable number of viruses that have been developed for the Windows based operating system and as opposed to Linux where there's been less than 20 this year and 90% of them 20 have been phased out just through system updates alone um, and I've been using Linux for several years I've never even heard of a virus trying to break into my system as such it's not going to happen I'm not saying it can't happen, but I do feel that it won't happen. Um, I have no antivirus, I have no protection systems, and I feel I don't need it. Linux is a very secure operating system. Another reason uh, I would suggest Linux is you can install it from live CDs. However, SteamOS is not capable of a live CD as of yet. Um, Standard Linux distros are capable of live CDs, which means you can just pop in a disk or a USB drive in your computer, boot up Linux, and have your little feel around. If you like it, you can install it within the live CD whilst you are using Linux, which means you can continue to play your games, browse your web, and various other things whilst Linux is installing. And you can dual boot it as well, which means if you're not 100% sure if you like Linux or if you want to try it, and on a more permanent basis, you can install it as a dual boot system which will allow you to power on the machine and have a choice of either Linux or Windows or whatever other operating systems that you have. Linux as well as SteamOS and all other variants of Linux um, is open source which means a lot of people, I'm talking again thousands of people regularly contribute code to the source code um, which is then handpicked to be part of the OS ultimately this Linux operating system is a project by the people for the people to the people so there's no backdoors there's nothing like that everything is presented in front of you if you're one of those tech savvy people you want to get into code editing you can open up the uh, source file and you can play around with a few of its uh, files Reprogram parts of it, rescript certain aspects of it, and you can contribute that code to the Linux developers and they can either approve or deny the code. Right, we are getting some life out of the virtual machine. Let me just load that up here. Okay, so right now we are booting, which is good. So, all in all, the uh, I do believe that is full install. Let me just check. Okay, so the full install of the uh, Linux-based distro has taken less than 15 minutes. Hey, so how are you doing, bro? Okay, so we got GNOME 3 failed to load. 
Okay, so it's starting in fallback mode. That might be down to the fact that I haven't installed the uh, guest add-ons yet. So what we'll do now is I'm just going to mount the um, guest add-ons. Okay, that's not incredibly helpful. Else, this isn't being incredibly helpful. Bear with me one moment. A web browsing history. Gotta love those pop ups. Just mute Chrome. Sorry about that. Okay, so yeah, just reading quickly into it that um, I am going to have to install some external applications. Like I was saying, guys, this is a first for me. I just paste into that. Oh, I cannot. That's that's okay. That is not very useful. Oh, we just got a reboot. Okay, so I need to boot into recovery mode to install these uh, add-ons. Okay, that's no problem. Okay, so this is something different. So that first time boot, obviously was to install some uh, applications, drivers and various other things. We've been presented with a new menu here. Let's see where this takes us. Sorry about the lack of full screen here guys. I will, hopefully when I install the guest add-ons, it should pop into uh, full screen mode.
Okay, so whilst we're waiting for um, this to do whatever it is that it's doing, I'm just going to go over a few more points um, of Linux over Windows. I'm not saying uh, Linux is better than Windows, I will not say that. Uh, they all have their individual points. Um, I personally use both, so I have no preference to either of them. But um, one of the other points is the drivers included. So some claim that Windows supports more hardware than Linux. In fact, it's not true. Windows supports actually very little hardware. You have to go onto the websites and download the drivers that all the manufacturers have uh, made. Or if you bought a laptop and a computer, they've been preloaded with the um, hardware manufacturer's drivers. So as a matter of fact that the uh, Linux, uh, sorry, matter of fact Windows actually supports a very minimalistic hardware out of the box. However, Linux, the majority of its hardware is supported uh, directly by the kernel. So it's quite literally the new definition of plug and play. That's that's why live CDs work so increasingly well. They don't have to install anything for you to use your things. I've used a live CD on a laptop, which um, see, you know, we'll start the story backwards a little bit. I had a um, a laptop that uh, is very problematic with Windows. Its driver support is not out there. It's a Windows 2K machine. It is old. Wow, that's a lot of noise. It's a Windows 2K machine. It's old. Windows doesn't support it. The Wi-Fi card doesn't work. The graphics adapter hardly works and various other functions. Right now I have no screen. Let me just turn this down a moment. So what I'm guessing here is that it's just booted into uh, Steam. Which I don't have access to right now because I don't have the graphics systems installed. So I'm going to restart the machine. I'm going to attempt to uh, boot into um, recovery mode so I can install the guest add ons. Try another reset. I'm just gonna try and get there. We go. Um, I've already done the install. I don't want to re go into the install. Access the recovery mode. Okay, let me see if I can... Let me unmount this disc, because obviously that's not helping. What I'm just trying to do is I'm trying to get it to boot into recovery mode so we can install the... Uh, the specified applications. I do apologize for this guys, like I, like I uh, was saying that this this is a first for me, um, installing SteamOS. And I would have assumed that putting the disc in would have uh, 
kicked it into recovery mode, but apparently that isn't the case. It's got its own recovery system built in. In this situation, it's not very helpful. I've been resetting it we'll, uh, a few times. We'll force it into recovery, thinking it's crashed out. However, that does not appear to be the case. I may have to quickly reinstall it to uh, get the recovery back up. Okay, let me try um, mounting the disc. Let me have a look in rescue mode. If I can get into recovery that way. I think what it's doing is a startup prepare right now. But we'll see. the whole point of this video was to uh, display how these things can be done like I said guys this is being done in a virtual machine Oracle VM virtual box I'm just wondering if I can actually get it through this terminal. So I just remembered I can't uh, ask out of this. Run commands. I can. There we go. This is one way to do it. Right, let me, uh, let's do the other one here, so, AG.
Not open. Okay. Did I spell that one? Deep. Linux. Okay, so I'll try doing that. Um, what I'll try is uh, we'll try booting them on in that command inside the operating system. Might have a little bit better luck with that. Transform your state of mind. See if I can actually get into the OS this time. If not, unfortunately, there's a reinstall. And I will just cut. Yep, so that has not worked. Okay. Do -do -do. Let's just quickly do a uh, reboot here. What I'll do is I'll fast forward this entire stage and I will come back when this installation is done. Hey okay, guys, I'll see you in a moment. Right, and we're back once again. Right, so fingers crossed that if this works, that um, I had to change over from virtual machine to uh, VMware as virtual machine didn't seem to support the uh, interface required to turn down the music a little bit. Find that little difficult one. That nope, seems to be one or two. Uh, zero or two. Oh well. Fingers crossed we actually get something out of it this time. Live in Hawaii, fair play. Hey, I just stretched out the uh, screen so we can have at least a sense of full screen whilst we're installing the uh, graphic systems. Uh, it's been a long morning. This is my third video attempt. Every time I try it, it something goes wrong. The lesson learned, guys, it doesn't install too well inside a virtual machine. Don't try it. Unless you really know what you're doing. Wondering what the unknown is. Oh, I've got the uh, shell this time. Uh, Gnome 3 loaded. So, I guess that's a uh, lovely, weird little interface we got here. So I guess that's one step more than what we got last time.
Oh dear. Fingers crossed we get a little more out of, put out of this one than we did last time. Yeah, Katrina was a pretty big hurricane, to say the least. Come on. You can't do it. You haven't crashed, have you? No, you're still fine. What are you hyped up on? Stop drinking Red Bull, mate. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna try force restarting this because it's gonna be a bit wonky here. Oh yeah, that's not good, Petro. Oh wow, look at that. Uh, tiny! The hell is going on there? We'll see. Oh, and there we go. Welcome to Steam. You are loud. Let me turn you down. Okay. Turn that down a little bit. End user license agreement. Blank. I agree. Right, what I am going to do, hang on a sec. View order size. Guest. Oh, yeah, let's not do that. down any further than that are you? Oh there we go. Next. Europe. Where are we? Oh, we're under Britain. Apparently London's the only place in the uh, UK so Let's have a look. The mythical Steam OS. Hydro, I'm not making you a sandwich. There we go. Connected to Biostar. No idea what that means. Hey, hey.
but it starts to name my motherboard, so it might be that. So right here, so I'm gonna click the little beta tab. I'm assuming something's gonna come up. There we go. So the Steam OS beta. Thank you for helping build the future of Steam. I like it. Oh, right. So if I hit the little Steam, yep. Prompt if I hit exit. Okay. So we got all the standard interface settings. So from what it seems to be at the minute is um, very like big picture. And I'm I'm seeing games on here like Armor for example and I'm wondering if I can actually play it. I don't didn't think this is available on Windows. But I don't believe I can. Just seeing if everything works here. Yep, so it seems pretty cool. I like the interface. This is definitely controller based, same as Big Picture, but there's, I did expect that really. Games I can play, 91. Steam OS. Here we go, right, so these are the games I can play. Which is a very small amount, but Beam NG, please. Oh, I want to see how <laughs> well, I don't. Is Beam NG? I don't think Beam NG's Linux. No, it's not. So I do have some games that are capable. Game Dev Tycoon and Rust, Robocraft. You know what? I'm curious to uh, see if I can do this. Being inside a uh, virtual machine and all. Uh, that's not what I wanted. I don't think. Okay, I just broke something. Oh, I have no idea what I've done. Okay, so I did just see the uh, Robocraft intro in there. Oh, this is interesting. Slow capture, comma, decode. Decode is fine. Oh, wow. This is uh, freaking out my computer. My uh, even my numlock key flashing. Let's get it out of full screen here, just so I don't. That is interesting. So you can't really see it. Hang on a second, guys. What has happened here? Is it? recognized my steam on my computer and this is totally weird it is monitoring monitor capturing my game which is totally not what I expected it was gonna do so it's using my desktop computer as a source and I'm not sure what I'm assuming is happening, my desktop computer is streaming to SteamOS. This is totally something I did not expect. So I'm just going to put that on the other screen for a moment. Just out of curiosity, if I type stuff in there, yeah, it show it's SteamOS. And it has loaded big picture. 
Oh, wow, this is totally weird. I'm confused at what just happened. I have no idea. I'm gonna exit Steam on my desktop. So what it did is it it found out that I was used, logged into the st same, same Steam account on my desktop as I was inside the virtual machine and it has obviously assumed that I want to play the game on my desktop and not on SteamOS so it used SteamOS like a remote control which is so weird I didn't expect that and that totally threw me off I'm gonna switch back over to my, uh, my other scene now There we go. Okay, so... Yeah, uh... Totally no idea that it did that. So it essentially used Steam OS like a remote control for my uh, desktop computer. Which is surreal. I'm not 100% sure why it did that, if it was meant to do that. But it then streamed my uh, desktop computer to Steam OS, so... It's... I could have my desktop computer, which is the most powerful thing in the world, kind of thing, in my room, SteamOS in my living room, I can select a game, and it would load it up on my desktop computer, and then stream my desktop computer to SteamOS, which is so surreal, I didn't even know it did that, I'm shocked. But, I've... Wow, no comment on that. So I'm just going to install Robocraft here. And, uh, see if I can run it. I don't expect to be able to run it because, um, again, it's all within virtual machines. But, um, uh, it'd be cool. We'll see. This shouldn't take too much longer. We're already 80% into the uh, download. Relatively good connection speed at the minute. A little bit slower than it normally is on my desktop, but then again, I'm running it inside my desktop. I lost my Twitch chat through all that carnage. Transform your state of mind. There we go. <laughs> lost you. I talked too fast and you weren't paying attention. Well done, Pedro. Oh, we're almost there. I just, I'm curious to know how everything's going to run. Come on. I do this to me, Steve. So I can still kind of have a little play through my uh, my UI whilst it's all downloading and. New for me. Alright, let's try and play it. This time. Okay, so it loaded. Oh, wow. Well, remember username, password, one go. Yeah, I didn't realize Robocraft was Linux compatible. I'm just going to double check. We are inside Linux still. Yes, we are. Magical.
So, I mean, it instantly loaded up uh, just as I'd expected to, and just as it does on Windows. So, so far I've noticed no deterioration between Windows and Linux. Um, and especially because I'm inside a virtual machine. Okay, that is not good. Wow, I'm not a hundred sure what's going on here. It doesn't seem to be liking my mouse too much. Okay. Everything else but the mouse seems to be working. Let me see what it's like inside the uh, game. Let's see if I can use the mouse inside the environment. I'm not sure whether this is the virtual machine issue. Okay, so there is obviously problems here. In fact, I'm missing my uh, block texture. Okay, so the issue with the mouse does seem to be a virtual machine issue, as it's moving itself now. The missing textures, that's definitely the game issue. Alright, three. Day premium. All right, go back. Let's see what else SteamOS is capable of. Check out the web browser and other things. The Counter Strike Global Offensive on here, because that'd be kind of cool. Nah, it doesn't seem to be that way. We've got all the other Counter-Strikes though. Oh no, Global Offensive right there. Ooh. I may be using this for a uh, Global Offensive, so. The Gary's Mod, Robocraft, Game Dev Tycoon. So yeah, I mean, there isn't much game choice out there at the minute. But still, it's pretty cool. Right. Let's have a look in the settings. Okay, so yes, the streaming feature was supposed to happen. Okay. Family view controller, remote control. Voice. Let's just have a look. Test. Test. Yep, so it's, it's yep, picking up my USB microphone and everything. So the fact that it's picking up, it, it is a USB microphone. Uh, headset, it's picking up the sound as well on it quite happily. Music. I was kind of hoping I could reach into my, um, my Windows music. Have a look at the display. Yeah, so minimalistic kind of display options, but it's all right. Right, have we got? We have a web browser, and it's down here. Let's see if we have Flash support and things like that. Pause my music. Let's have a look. I am hearing some audio tearing, like a little popping noise, um, most likely due to uh, rendering on the uh, guest virtual um, system, but uh, it could also be a driver issue and various other things. Right, let's. Um, Give a good song. I don't know. I'll just type Monster Cap. Why not? Something. Just want to see if we have Flash and. There you go, straight away. And 
it's actually kind of scary how quickly that is loading. Um, holy moly, that is actually scary at the speed of um, YouTube loads. My Windows machine does not load YouTube that quickly, and that's uh, impressive. Second, I click it. Boof. Nice, easy. You hear whale type sound. Yeah, the Steam OS is still making noises in the background, which is annoying. I'm wondering if I can turn that off. Oh, yeah, guys, it's uh, been a success. So I'm going to leave this to play through. I'm going to head out. See you guys, take it easy, have a good day, I'll see you on the next video. Yeah.